JC here, Marvel RV. I'm on the beautiful Suntron Coast today and I'm really excited to introduce you to the evolution of the Marvel RV Thunderstorm, the brand new Marvel RV Thunderstorm Mark II. Now, striking in appearance straight away, this is a genuine off-road beast. It's set on a set of 33 inch wheels to give you a nice big footprint on the bitumen, on the corrugations or on the sand. It's on a 6B2 A-frame with a full four inch chassis razor running the whole way through, giving you incredible ride height for entry and exit and a great departure angle. Now on the front here, You've got your standard DO35 coupling. You've got your front stone deflection with extra large mud flaps to protect from the stones. On the front here, we've got our own custom made box. Now you'll see this opens either side. The reason for that enables you to mount a couple of push bike racks on the top here, firewood, couple of swags, really whatever you like. We do have a jerry can holder either side. And in here, you do have a slide both sides. Now the offside is obviously for your generator. This one here is for your Weber Baby Q and it actually fits in there perfect. Front and rear, you've actually got a big light bar. So if you end up doing any driving at dusk or at night, you can illuminate the area, see where you're going, or even if you're hooking up early in the morning or later of an evening. Now, caravanning is all about living outside. So with this here, we've actually done our own custom designed external kitchen. So you can pretty much be completely settled out here. The benefit of this is we've actually reduced the size from most conventional external kitchens. The benefit of that is it maximises your external storage by keeping over half the tunnel bird available still. Now here, you've got plenty of preparation area, you've got a nice sink, you've got a two burner grill for your fry pan, your whistling kettle, your saucepan, and also a shelf to carry a Weber Baby Q here. And that's why underneath we've got two bayonet fittings to enable you to have both appliances running simultaneously, and you've got some nice kitchen storage space there as well. Now, when I said it's all about basically living outside, even to the point your external TV, your TV points, you've got external speakers, so you really can just live out here. Bad weather, you go inside. You're on a set of 33s, nice big wheels and tires, it's got ventilated disc brakes, perfect for off-road usage. It's got your Alco full outback off-road suspension, which has got its own coil spring, spring and dual shockies. Now, we've got your standard Aluka Bond, reducing the amount of joins in it, better for insulation, and most importantly up here in Queensland, it's hail resistance. You've got your checker plate down low for protection, as well as your external table. Now, as we move around, you've got an external shower at the rear, so if you've just gone, bit of fish and been for a swim, you can have a hot and cold shower out here and freshen up before you go inside. This is set up on, it's got dual roto molded poly tanks. So they are that strong, you could literally park a land cruiser on top of these water tanks. Best of all, you don't get any plastic taste out of it either. Light bar, it's got a rear camera as well, so you can actually see what's coming up behind you if you're looking at changing lanes, plus obviously help when you're reversing, you know, pulling in at night. On the side here, you'll notice you've got massive windows, but this is a genuine off-road van. It's been set up with the right suspension, the right brakes, the right wheels, a bulletproof chassis. It's got over 450 watts of solar on the roof as well, so you are very self-sufficient. But look, we know it looks like a tank outside. Come on inside. This is where I think you'll be really impressed, and especially the wives, because it's literally like a penthouse inside. Start with your illuminated handle, but come inside and take a look. So wow, as you can see, I wasn't understating it when I said it really is a penthouse inside. The amount of storage this van's got is absolutely phenomenal. You've got a great big kitchen, loads of drawers, You've got self-locking latches, all metal sided. There's no chipboard or MDF anywhere in these Marvel vans. You've got your black pack. So this has been optioned up with a black pack. Other than that, everything in it's standard. So you've got black pack, black fittings, um, black vanity. You've got nice big windows everywhere. So it's great, it's open, it's airy. Under here, you've got your stereo, you've got the receiver. All the lights in this are actually wireless. You can turn them on and off from a remote. So if you're lying in bed at night and hear a bit of rustling outside, you can literally turn your external lights on to startle anything out there without having to leave the comfort of your bed. All piano hinging, great for off-road off -road purpose. And these are a full CNC interior. So everything is solid. It's not framed with a three mil face plot over it. 
You've got a full oven standard. You've got a queen size bed with a pillow top inner spring mattress standard. And you've got a Sirocco fan as well, which will run off your battery to free camping to displace the air and cool the van down. It comes standard with a scupper vents for dust pressurization. So when you're doing those, off, those dusty roads, open that up, it fills the van with fresh air from up high and pressurizes the van. So over here we've got our automotive leather cafe dining with your trifold table, which you can leave out of the road so you can sit back at night and relax. Or alternatively, if you want to sit down and have a game of cards or a meal, you can pull it out and you've got that option available as well. When we talk off-road, now we covered the off-road credentials outside of what's underneath. The big thing we want to cover inside, obviously, is your battery system. That's what's going to enable you to stay off-grid for longer periods. Now this one here comes standard with two 100 amp hour lithium batteries and 450 watts of solar, all charged up by the projector PM300 BT system. Now this is a Bluetooth system, so you can monitor from your phone, your charger, your state of charge, your usage and so forth, which really helps you monitor your situation, expand how long you can stay off grid for. Now when I was talking about this has got loads of storage, I wasn't understating, overstating that. Not only have you got all these drawers here, all this kitchen space, but this van has three slide out pantries next to the fridge, which all slide out to you. Over here, we have the biggest pantry you'll see in a caravan. Now, it's conveniently placed right inside the door, next to the fridge, so which is great for not only loading and unloading, but you can even utilize one of those shelves to keep your sunscreen in, to keep your, your, your mozzie spray in. So it's right inside the door, you're not having to walk in and out the van all the time. As we move into the bathroom, the first thing you notice is just how much space you've got here and an absolute abundance of drawers the whole way down. So everything's coming out to you even a medicine cabinet built in. You've obviously got your full shower over here, which has got loads of room in there. Once again, you've got your black pack with your upgraded shower head. To summarize guys, this is a van that ticks all the boxes. It's got all the off-road credentials outside and it absolutely looks quite striking. Inside though, you hop in and this really is a penthouse on wheels. Um, come and have a look guys, I know you won't be disappointed.